is, yeah, consistently he is, consistently he is, yeah, you're consistent, hey, you're consistent, so consistent, yeah, you're consistent, you're the same God, you're the same God, yeah. you're the same God, yeah. you're the same God, yeah. Somebody give him glory. He's a consistent God. Come on and give him honor. Come on, let's tap in here. Let's get that now. He's the same God. Yesterday, today, forevermore, 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 forevermore. Yeah, he's the same God. Same God. The same God, He's the same God that brought me out in the wilderness, that brought me out in the wilderness. That's the same God, the same God, yeah. So my praise will be consistent because you're consistently good, you're consistently great. So my praise will yeah, be consistent. Cause you're consistently good You're consistently great You're consistently God You're consistently good You're consistently great You're consistently God You're consistently great You're consistently great You're consistently great You're consistently great You're consistent my mind, you're consistently great. God, I'm blown away that you remain the same in a world that's ever changing, ever evolving. You're the same God. You're the same God. Oh, come on, get out your seat here. Let's go. Get up, I say, hey, Come on, give him some praise according to his consistency. Come on, he's been a real good God. He's been consistently, yes, consistently destroying the oaks. Consistently destroying the enemy. Consistently on my side. When I walked away, he was consistently there. When I wanted to give up, he consistently encouraged me. God is a consistent God. 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 He's consistent in all his ways. Consistent God deserves consistent praise. A great God deserves great praise. An awesome God deserves awesome praise. The 
same God. The same God. Yeah. He's the same today. The same today. The same God. Yeah, the same God. Come on, somebody bless him. The same God. Oh, oh, oh. he's the same God. Yesterday, today, forevermore. He's the same God. The same God. He's the same God. Yesterday, today, forevermore. He's the same God. Same God. He's the same God. Yesterday, today, forevermore. He's the same God. Same God. He's a holy God. He's a holy God. He's the same God. He's the same God. He's the same God yesterday, today, forevermore. He's the same God. Same God. Same God. Same God. Same God. He's the same God. He's the same God. Say same God that delivered me when I was lost. That same God is by my side today. He's the same God.
Lord. Praise the Lord. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to praise the Lord. I'm praise the Lord. I'm going to praise the Lord. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. 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 Everybody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and give God glory. So we'll give you the praise. We will give you the praise. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. 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 What a mighty God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. 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 Can we just lift our hands of reverence to the Lord today? Hallelujah. Easy song that just says, Say what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. The creator of heaven and earth. The creator of heaven and earth. Say what a mighty God we serve.
You're mighty God. You're mighty God. You're mighty God. You're mighty God. You're mighty. You're mighty. I will still proclaim. You're mighty God.
mighty God. He's a 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 mighty God. Say yeah. up in the air just begin to reverence the Father. God, you're mighty and there's nobody like you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hey, there's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. Nobody. There's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. Nobody like you. Nobody like Say nobody. Nobody. There's nobody like you. Nobody like. Nobody like you. Nobody like. Nobody like you. Nobody like. Nobody. Nobody. Say nobody like you. Nobody like. Nobody like you. Nobody like. Say nobody like you. Nobody like. Nobody. Nobody. Say no. Nobody like you. 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 Nobody like Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. 
Ain't nobody greater. 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 Searching everything, I searched everybody, but couldn't find nobody that's like you. Nobody can save me like you can. Nobody can heal me like you can. Nobody can keep me like you can. Nobody, hey, nobody can heal me. Nobody can love me. Nobody can feel me like you can. Nobody, nobody, nobody. like you Jesus hallelujah God hallelujah God hallelujah God hallelujah God come on and open up your mouth and give him glory come on open up your mouth and give him glory hallelujah Jesus hey Hallelujah. Hey, God. Nobody is greater. Come on, say nobody. Nobody is greater than you. Nobody. Nobody is greater than you. Nobody is greater. Nobody is greater than you. Nobody's greater. No, 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 no. Nobody's greater. Nobody's greater. I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. Searched high and low, still couldn't find nobody. But nobody. But nobody, 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 nobody. I've searched all over and couldn't find nobody. Searched high and low, couldn't find nobody. But nobody, 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 nobody. Mm. Nobody say nobody's greater. Nobody's greater than you. Nobody's greater than you. Say it again, say nobody's greater than you. 
you. No mind is greater. No mind is greater than you. Nobody is greater than you. Hallelujah. Nobody's greater than the Lord. Amen. Nobody's greater than God. Nobody's greater than God. Hallelujah. We want to take the opportunity. To welcome you to the Revival Center at Cincinnati, where our overseer is Elder Wayman D. Dean. And here at the Revival Center, you can get everything you need. If it's restoration, you can get it here. If it's revitalization, you can get it here. Whatever you need, you can get it right here at the Revival Center. The Lord dwells in the Revival Center. Amen. So can everybody stand to their feet? Hallelujah. Nobody's greater than you. Nobody's greater than you. Nobody's greater than you, Lord. Nobody's greater. Can you turn to your neighbor and tell them that nobody's greater than the Lord? Come on, turn to your other neighbor and say, There's nobody greater than God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let's go and hug on our neighbor today and just love on them today, man. Hallelujah. Hey, this ain't nobody, nobody's greater than you. Ain't nobody's greater. Nobody's greater than you. Ooh, yeah. And we adore you, God. Hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy, Jesus. Nobody's greater than you, God. Nobody's greater than you, God. Yeah. Nobody's greater than you, God. Nobody, nobody, nobody's greater than you, God. Nobody's greater than you, God. Nobody's greater than you, God. Yeah, nobody, nobody, nobody's greater. Nobody's greater. Nobody's greater. Nobody's greater, nobody's greater, nobody's greater. Hallelujah, Jesus. The great God that we serve can handle all of our situations. The great God we serve, he's still ruling, he reigns supreme over everything. God, we worship the great and mighty God. You're so great and greatly to be praised, Father. God, we lift up our praises to you, God, for there's nobody like you, Jesus. God, we lift up this praise to you, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. Please, God, touch our hearts, God. Touch our minds, God. Touch our souls right now, oh God. Break the heaviness that's in this place, oh God. Break the heaviness that's in our hearts, that are hiding in our hearts, oh God. Break it in the name of Jesus, oh God. We bind up the spirit of oppression. 
and depression in the name of Jesus. And we, we, we release joy and victory in this place, Father. God, nothing is oppressing us, oh God. We cancel the assignment of the enemy, God, that will come in and try to oppress us, trying to tell us that we can't make it, trying to tell us that we will never change, trying to tell us that we will always stay in our past, trying to tell us that we are stuck in a generational curse, trying to tell us that we are stuck in generational patterns, but we came to give the devil notice that we serve a great and mighty God who can break yokes, who can break yokes, who can relieve strongholds in the name of Jesus. We will never be bound. We will never be bound. We will never be bound again, but we walk in victory. We walk in victory and we're finally free in God. We are finally free in God. We will never be bound again. We will never be bound, be bound, be bound. Nothing will bind us. Nothing will bind us. Family ain't going to bind us. Our situations aren't going to bind us. Past relationships aren't going to bind us. Credit reports aren't going to bind us. Slip ups ain't going to bind us. We're holding on to the vision of God. We're holding on to your promises. It will never bind us. It will never bind us. It will never bind us. We walk in freedom. We walk in liberty. And we're finally free in you, God. God, we give you the glory. God, we give you the honor in this place, oh God. God, we love you. God, we serve the mighty God. God, we worship and adore you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, we love you. We love you, God. We love you. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. And we'll never be bound again. We will never be bound again. I'm walking in joy. I'm walking in happiness. I'm walking in you upright. No longer will I slouch and hold my head down. I'm going to walk in you. I'm going to walk in you. I'm going to be free in you. I'm going to be free in you, God. Hey! God, you're mine. God, you're mighty. And I will not let my situations keep me down. I will not let my family history keep me down. For I am free. I am free and totally free in you. I am free. I am free. I am free. I am free in you, Jesus. I am free in you. I'm holding on to the vision you've given to me, God. I'm holding on to the dreams that you've given unto me, God. I'm holding on to the prophetic word you've given unto me, God. And the enemy can't snatch it away from me. In the name of Jesus, if I believe it came from you, God, then I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on and allow it to see it come to pass. I'm going to press through this. I'm going to pray through this, oh God. If it meant for you, for me to have a house, it's going to be done. We destroy the hurdles. We destroy all the stuff that's trying to hold us back, oh God. If it meant for us to go back to school, God, we destroy the hurdles. We destroy the hurdles. We destroy the pitfalls. We destroy the tricks and schemes of the enemy. God, whatever it is that you promised to us, oh God, it shall it shall be it shall be it shall be and I'm standing in agreement with my brothers and sisters that the word that you've given unto them oh God whatever the word you've given unto them it shall be it shall be it will come to pass we destroy decoys we destroy distractions and we will walk on your path of righteousness for your name's sake for your name's sake oh God and if we have to walk through the valley of the shadow of fear we will fear no evil for God is with me thy rod and thy staff will comfort me you're preparing the table before me oh God and I'll sit right there in the presence of my 
They had no choice but to watch me partake in the good things of the Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I shall, I shall receive from the Lord. I shall eat from the table with plenty. Hallelujah! It's mine! It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! New job is mine! Hallelujah! Victory is mine! Joy is mine! Peace is mine! Love is mine! Happiness is mine! It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! Jesus, no longer, no longer will I feel discouraged. No longer, no longer, no longer will I can't sleep at night. Hallelujah, I shall go to sleep and have sound sleep and have peaceful sleep. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We cancel the distraction of the enemy that will come into our house and start meddling with stuff, start tearing up stuff. We bind the spirit of destruction in the name of Jesus. The enemy has to flee. I dispatch our angels, God, to protect our homes, God, to protect our promises, oh God, to protect our dreams, oh God, to protect our vision, God, that you give it unto us. The enemy can't have it. He can't take it away. He will not discourage me. He will not take me that I'm walking in the wrong path even though it may look dark even though the promises are not here yet but I know the word that I stand upon I shall decree and I shall declare that the word of God will come to pass in our lives in the name of Jesus I have no other word to stand on but the true word of God in the name of Jesus it shall come to pass it shall come to pass we will not walk into 2018 the same way we've been walking since 2003 we will not walk in 2018 with broken promises and broken hearts we will bind it and we will stand on the authentic vision of God we will stand on the authentic dreams of God in the name of Jesus so God allow us to know our purpose in life I now to know God that what what are we called for here to do go oh God in the name of Jesus God once we understand our purpose oh God then you you will provide for us God in order for us to receive success oh God in order for us to fulfill our purpose oh God you will provide God you will provide God you will provide God you will provide God and I stand on your word God and I stand on it and I stand on it God and I stand on it God all we do is weird 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 and I have the victory Praise God who give us the victory and calls us up to triumph, oh God. You will give it to us. We just got to stand on your word. We just got to stand on it. Stand on your word. Stand on your word. Stand on your word. Stand on your word. And it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you got some things that are being held up, if you got some things that you know should have already came to pass but there are maybe some demonic influence that is stopping it you go out your seat you be de begin to decree and declare that the things that God has in store for me will be released right now in the name of Jesus will be released right now in the name of Jesus it shall not be hold by the hand of the enemy the enemy can't hold my blessing it don't belong to him it belongs to me it belongs to me business strategies belong to me new businesses belong to me financial wealth belong to me it belong to me and you can't have it you can't have it you can't have it the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous no more stored up for the wicked and that shall be released to me in the name of Jesus it shall be released to me in the name of Jesus it shall be released it shall be released it shall be released it shall be released to me to me to me to me it shall be
be released to me. It shall be. It shall be. It shall be. It shall be done. It shall be. No more we will give up when we face a hurdle, but we're going to jump over the hurdle. We're going to keep on moving. We're going to keep on moving. We're going to keep on moving. We're going to lean in and trust and rely in you, God. We're going to lean in and trust and rely in you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. For there's no other help that we know, God, but your help, God. Your hand, the mighty hand of God. Your You are our only way. You are our hope. You are our strength, Father. You are, you are, you are, you are. You are Jesus. You are God. You are Jesus. And we will not leave here going back to the same mindset that we just had 20 minutes ago. We will stand on your word, Father. I will read your word daily. I will eat your word daily. And I will stand on your promises, oh God. I will stand. I will stand. I will stand. The only reason why the enemy has our ear because we're not reading his word. We're not listening to him. We're not staying with him. We're not sitting and having time with him. We're not hearing the promises that he decreed upon our lives before we were born. God, speak to us. Speak to us. And remove the enemy from my camp. In the name of Jesus. We kick the enemy out of this house. Out of this house. That my people won't walk around empty and hopeless. No more. No more. No more. But you shall walk in freedom and liberty. You shall stand on his word. For all other ground is seeking sand. But the word of God shall always, shall always, shall always be solid. Shall always, shall always, shall always, shall always, it shall always, it shall always. And we will not step off. We will not look back. We will not look to the side, but we'll look to you, God, from whence cometh our help, oh God. For our help only comes from you, God. And we bless you, Jesus. And we bless you, God. Because you've died, there is no more generational curses. Because you've died, we have the power to break generational patterns in the name of Jesus. You will not slip back. You will not be the old person you used to be, but you shall walk. You shall walk. You will no longer be Jacob, but you shall be Israel in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Don't answer to Jacob. Don't go back to Jacob. Don't even peek at Jacob, but look to Israel. You shall be Israel. Israel has his promises. Israel is his chosen person. He's his chosen people. You shall be what God has renamed you to be in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 it shall be done, it shall be done, it shall be done, it shall be done, it shall be done. As I stand as the intercessor between the people, oh God, I stand in between among the answer, God, and the answer answer will be released God in the name of Jesus it shall be released to them God victory shall be their portion oh God peace shall be their portion in the name of Jesus ah. my people shall win my 
my people shall receive what it is that you have for them in the name of Jesus. And so God, oh, I seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. I seal it, oh God, that the enemy cannot penetrate unless we allow him back in. And we will not let him back in. In the name of Jesus. And we give you all the glory and honor and praise. In Jesus' mighty name, give God your praise. Give him, give him what is due to him. Give him the glory and the honor. In the name of Jesus. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, no, God told Satan. To get thee behind this victory, cause victory today.
don't feel it, but victory. I want to give up, y'all, but victory. Yeah. Today, it is my. I woke up this morning not feeling right. Not in my natural body, but my spirit wasn't right. And God began to sing over me victory. Look at somebody around you and say victory belongs to you. said you're faking it because you're still in the mess that you're in I ain't got to fake it because I know what belongs to me and I got the V-I-C-T-O-R-Y the victory yeah yeah I got the victory slap yourself straight say you got the victory Get yourself together. Stand up tall. Prophesy over yourself. Preach to yourself. Pray over yourself. And say, you got it. When you turn down, you still got it. When everything is wrong, you still got it. You don't understand it, but you still got it. Look at somebody and say, I still got it. I still got it. I'm here to tell my depression that I got the victory. I got the victory. Victory. Victory today. Somebody shout, today it is. Hey, 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 hey. I'm going to preach in a second, but I got the victory. I'm physically sick, God. My soul is tired. My spirit is vexed. But I declare today that I got the victory. I got the victory. I got the victory. I got the victory. Cause victory today. Somebody shout mine, 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 mine. It's all. I'm about to take a 30 second praise break and I'm going to come back and preach. Hey, hey, bye, bye. Somebody join me in a 30 second praise break here.
Moses and Judges. Chapter 11. Told y'all 30 seconds. We ain't got time to play. My life is on the line here. Judges chapter 11. Judges chapter 11. Excuse me, but I feel another. Dance again. That's gonna be my last one for the day. 
for, for the time here, put it that way. And I'm going to dance when I get home. And I'm going to dance when I get ready to go to bed. And when I wake up in the morning, I realize I'm alive again. I'm going to dance again. And when, I'm just looking for reasons. Then when my car starts, I'm going to dance again. You know, just looking for reasons to dance, you know. Earwax building my ear. I'ma just dance, cause that's what it's supposed to do. Woo. When my heat turn on, I'ma just dance again, cause Judges chapter eleven, verse four. I know people say this all the time, but I'm going to try my best not to be quick here and give it to you straight. Judges chapter 4 says these words, and it came about after a while that the sons of Ammon fought against Israel. And when the sons of Ammon fought against Israel, the elders of Gilead went to Jephthah from the land of Tob. Say Tob. Either Tob or Tob. Or something. And they said to Jephthah, they said, come and be our chief that we may fight against the sons of Ammon. Look at your neighbor and say, come be our chief that we may fight against the sons of Ammon. And Jephthah said to the elders of Gilead, do you not hate me and drive no, he said, did you not hate me and drive me from my father's house? So why have you come to me now when you are in trouble? Somebody say, hmm. The elders of Gilead said to Jephthah, for this reason we have now returned to you. That you may go with us and fight with the sons of Ammon and become head over all of the inhabitants of Gilead. So Jephthah said to the elders of Gilead, if you take me back, look at your neighbor and say, if you take me back, to fight against the sons of Ammon, and the Lord gives them up, to me will I become your head. And the elders of Gilead said to Jephthah, the Lord is witness between us. Surely we will do what you have said. Then Jephthah went to the elders of Gilead, and the people made him head and chief over them. Jephthah spoke all the words before the Lord at Mizpah. Father, we thank you for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to give this to you two ways. I'm going to give it to you so that you can somewhat understand the text. And then I'm going to give it to you in a prophetic manner so that you can see how the Lord is showing me and how it relates to us. Somebody say, right now. Good God. You got to understand that if you go back to the beginning of the chapter, that Jephthah, the, which I can't say his name right now, um, he was born into Israel. But in the process of being born, he was not like everybody else. He was not like everybody else. For we got to understand that every that his mother was a harlot. Somebody say a harlot. harlot. Which means all of his other brothers and sisters and everybody was born. Um, um, you know how it is, the same mother and father and this, but there was something that separated him from the rest of his family, and it was the fact that his mother was not everybody else's mother. Now watch this. So in the process of all of this, the Bible says that he was strong and he was a great warrior. Isn't it just like God that even though folk will disqualify you, that God will still give you something as a strength. 
Mm -hmm. So even though they disqualified him, they counted him out because he was not, watch this, because he had a fault that was not of his own. Y'all going to catch it in the middle. He got disqualified because he had a fault that he uh, himself did not cause. It was not his fault that his mother was a harlot. It was not his fault that his father decided to sleep with a harlot. Hello, church. It was not his fault. But because it happened, it still crept up in his life. And his brothers determined, watch this, the Bible says that when he had gotten old and he began to have sons that after his who he was began to grow that they kicked him out y'all will catch that later when y'all watch the replay watch once he began to his brothers they have no problem with him, Camille. Watch. They had no problem when they was growing up together. They didn't have no problem when they were when they were young and, and they were doing everything together. But the moment he began to do something right, they had a problem with it. The moment he began to grow into something that could be mighty. Because even though he had something in his past that potentially disqualified him, the hand of God was still on his life. That his his that his that his uh his nature and who he was began to grow and they got intimidated by who he was ah they got intimidated by who he was and they said get out of here for your mama's a harlot and you ain't none of ours and I can only imagine, watch this, I'm about to tap into some of your feelings. I can only imagine that potentially, somebody say, in my spiritual imagination. I can only imagine the thoughts that will go through his head. You, you thought I was good enough when you needed my help. Mm -hmm. You thought I was good enough when everything was going wrong and you needed the strength that I had. You know, you thought I was good enough when, when everything was happening in your life and you had to call me because I had to, uh, I had to destroy some things that was on your life. You thought I was good enough then, but what? But now you want to say I'm not good enough because I'm growing. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm going to grow and I'm going to keep growing regardless. Uh, I don't care what you bring up in my life. I am still going to grow. I wish I had a church here now and I got ahead of myself I wish I had a church here now that can say you can put me out all you want you can disqualify me but I'm going to still grow you can disqualify me you can bring up what my mama did you can bring up what my daddy did but I'm going to still grow you can bring up what my grandfather did you can even bring up what I did 50 years ago but I know that now I serve I got ahead of myself but I know that now I serve a God and because because I'm a new creature in him. You can bring it up, but I'm going to still grow. Slap your neighbor a high five and say, neighbor, I'm going to still grow. <laughs> so he took his family and he left. The Bible don't have no record of them fighting and arguing, updating their status about it. Sub tweeting about it, calling somebody else. Y'all know how we do. Now you're mad, so now you're on Facebook. Y'all know folk just ain't fair. Folk ain't right. You know, y'all pray for these demons out here. No, you sub talking about somebody else. Quit talking to us on Facebook about it and go talk to them. That's why some folk, I just had to unfollow. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. If you got a problem, just go talk to them. Look at somebody and say, go talk to them. But he packed up his stuff page and he left. Watch this. And when he left, the Bible says that he went to a place and that place was called, I believe it's pronounced Tob or Tob, Tob or Tob. And while he was there, watch this, he met some men that were not the most favorable, um, 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 but these men, when he met them, they joined to him. Look at somebody and say they joined to him. 
they join to him and they begin to um, they begin to 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 um, um, to go around and they begin to fight battles and they begin to fight and and when you read the text it seems as if these men they were just crazy men out here doing any and everything and I begin to do some research and and I begin to realize that they weren't just doing anything and everything but they were potentially fighting for the poor and fighting for things that was right oh yes God they were fighting for the things that should have been right they were out here fighting battles they were fighting little battles and God was preparing him for the big battle that he was about to fight so while he was out here fighting and they had kicked him out he didn't even realize that God was actually preparing him God was giving him insight God was giving him strategies because of where he was about to go in his next level he was already big but God was about to make him bigger so God had to allow them to kick him out uh, and go to a place where he can be by himself uh, and other Mm, (laughs) people that's hilarious Uh, and he had to kick him out so that other folk could join to him uh, so that he can learn how to lead them I ain't got no witness in here some of y'all think that God has given up on you and I'm ahead of myself uh, and some of y'all think that everything is happening to you it's for the bad but God said I take what's happening to you and I, I use that so that when you get to the place where you can really be used you'll know you already know how to work I can't get no church in here y'all tired stop your neighbor no never mind let me go ahead and keep talking so he says now so they begin to do this watch and the people of God the people of God found themselves in a predicament right they found themselves in the predicament. Watch this. And the elders, because the sons of Ammon had come against Israel, the elders, the elders, the elders, the elders had came to him and they said, we need somebody who can fight for us. We need somebody who's got some wisdom. We need somebody who's got some strength. We need somebody who know how to fight because we don't know how to fight. So we need somebody that can, watch this, lead lead us somebody say lead us lead us and they had to go to the one brother watch this there they had to go to the one brother out of everybody that's around everybody that you're a part of everything that you're doing they had to go to the one brother that they had disqualified They had to go to the one person that, 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 that they had disqualified, that they had determined he is nothing because of his mother. He is nothing because he's not a full blood, but he's a half blood. You know, they had disqualified him, but they had found themselves in a predicament where they needed him. Ah, yes, God, they needed him. And I need you to understand now that when, watch this, when they came to him, thank you, Holy Ghost, when they came came to him watch his reaction he did not come to back at them and say forget y'all forget y'all y'all ain't nobody y'all shouldn't have kicked me out he just simply asked a question he said did you did you not hate me and drive me out of my father's house so why did you come to me when you are in trouble now that you're in trouble you remember my phone number and I ain't even got to the prophetic part yet. I'm just talking about the text. Why? Why? Why now? You know how to shoot me a text. Hey, what you doing? Now that you're in trouble, you want to reach out to me because now you value what I have. Now you realize that even though I, I'm not fully Kojic, you know what I'm saying? I, went, I wasn't born in. Now they should know that God's got an oil on my name. ain't no call on the church guy in Christ. So I don't want to hear that later. You know, but I wasn't born in. But now you realize that there's a prophetic anointing on my life. Uh, you want to use me. Now that you realize that there's an anointing on me, you want to use me. Look at your neighbor and say they want to use you. Watch. I'm almost done. Watch his response. His response is, he says, he says to them, if you take me back to fight against the sons of Ammon and the Lord, somebody say the Lord, gives them up to me, will I be your leader? Will I be your head? 
they begin to say to him, they said, if the Lord does this, you will be our leader. You will be. And I want to encourage you today that when God puts things back in your life, ain't no need of you trying to get revenge. Just be led of the Lord. Because some of the increase that you've been needing, it might be in the place where they disrespected you then. But now they go love on you now. Oh, y'all ain't trying to hear it. Some of y'all been mad for 50 years about stuff. And God said, I know you're mad, but the blessing and the increase that you need is right there with the folk that you thought that you didn't think I was going to use in order to bring you to the place that you need to be in. Stop your neighbor a high five and say, neighbor, tell him wherever God wants to bless me, that's where I'll go. Uh, yes, God. So he went and fought the battle for him, for them. And the Bible says that the Holy Ghost... Uh, came upon him the Holy Ghost came upon him because now he was doing what God had purposed for him to do and the Holy Ghost came upon him can I go ahead and give you an understanding that oftentimes we're waiting for the Holy Ghost to push us somewhere and the Holy Ghost is saying no I'm waiting for you to step out there first and when you step out the Holy Ghost it said I'm going to empower you to destroy the of everything that is in your path uh, look at your neighbor say neighbor I'm going to step out uh, and then I'm going to wait for the Holy Ghost uh, to come upon me uh, you got to understand that once the Holy Ghost came upon him uh, he didn't have any fear uh, I just made myself quick and help Holy Ghost uh, he didn't have any fear uh, because he didn't have fear he was able to destroy an enemy uh, that was potentially greater than he was uh, so he went out and he fought the enemy and because he fought the enemy and he won somebody shout increase came in his life can I go ahead and preach it now and give y'all the prophetic word that the Lord gave me and the Lord began to deal with me I done told you the Bible now and now I got to give it to you the way that it relates to us today uh, the Lord began to tell me now because in my mind I said God the folks ain't right I said God I'm just like him uh, yes God I'm just like Jephthah I said God that is me in the text did anybody else see themselves in the text I said God that's me because everybody else done done me wrong he said Wayman you got it backwards he said you are not Jephthah in the text but you are Israel oh God have mercy and I said God what are you trying to say I said everybody done did me wrong he said but that still ain't you he said you are Israel in the text and I said God what are you trying to say to us he said you got to understand how often did you turn me away because I didn't fit the thoughts that you thought I needed to fit in he says how often did you turn me away because I didn't fit the description of how you thought things were going to turn out you thought everything was going to be peaches and cream but because you saw some turbulence you turned me away because I didn't fit your mode oh, look at your neighbor and say you might might as well tell the truth anyhow so I found the oops in the text the oops is that oftentimes things come in our life and we throw God away because it didn't fit what we thought so now you can't come to church now you can't worship because you think everything is supposed to go the way you thought it was going to think you thought everything was going to work out the way you thought it was going to work out you thought that the right people you thought that the people that was above you was going to call your name you thought you was going to get this platform you thought you were going to get that platform and God said it didn't work out your way so what did you do you stopped prophesying and that ain't right you stopped worshiping and that ain't right stop your neighbor a high five and say I got to keep it real with you ah yes God tell him say I got to keep it real with you I done turned on God so many times because things didn't work out in my life I got a little turbulent so I 
I stopped having faith because things didn't work out in my life. I wish I had about 10 of y'all that could keep it real. I got denied God. It said he ain't real because he didn't heal like I thought it would. So I sent God away. I wish I had a church in here now that can keep it real with yourself. It said God I done messed up for many of us have failed to sin. We've gone back to sexual activities and we've gone back to smoking and all this other stuff. Not because, not because, not because we just wanted to but it was because we had pushed God away. I wish I had a church here now that can declare I done messed up and God I need your help. Watch this y'all. So the Bible says they pushed him away that they pushed him away and when they pushed him away the Bible says that he done went to a place called Tob T-O-B he went to a place and I said God he went to that place and you know what I found out I found out that that place yes God in the Hebrew meant good I found out that that place it meant meant good. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor, I'm so glad that when I turned God away he didn't go to a place that's called bad. He didn't go to a place that's called horrible. He didn't go to a place called dysfunction. He didn't go to a place called getting me out of his life. But God remained good even though I turned him away I can't get no help here. Turn the keyboard down a little bit, please. I didn't get no help here. But I'm so glad that God remained consistently good in my life. Slap your neighbor and say, neighbor, if you're looking for the Lord, he's in a place called good. And you got to go to that place because he's still a good, good father. He's still good. Look at somebody and say you've been bad but he's still good you've been messed up but he's still good you ain't been right but it's still good so the people now and I'm at the end of my text so the people now they had to come together because the enemy had come against them and they had to decide what are we gonna do and how are we gonna do it but I'm so glad that I'm connected with some folk that when I mess up they can say I know you kicked God out but we got to go back and get God. I know you done left God alone but you got to go back and get with God. Yes God look at your neighbor and say neighbor when things get rough you better get the Lord when things go bad go back and get God when things get messed up go back and get God because the moment that you go back and get him you will realize that he was there every step of the way and he never leaves you he never left you but you got to turn around and understand that it ain't God's fault but it's your fault that is gone God I need your help because I done made an oops and I done kicked you out but now I need you Look at somebody and say, I'm mature enough to know that I need the Lord because I can't fight this by myself for the enemy's coming against me and I know the enemy can defeat me and I need a leader. I need a leader that can guide me. I need a leader that can give me strategies. God, I'm preaching to myself. I need a leader that can be on my side. No, I need a leader that I can be on his side we're always trying to force God to be on our side but you got to get your crazy self out of here who are you to say God got to be on your side you got to get yourself together and get on the side of the Lord look at your neighbor and say neighbor I got to get on the side of God and I'm going to the place of good because I got to get him and the Bible says can I go ahead and preach now Oh, wow.
And the Bible says that when they went to him, he said, am I not the one that you kicked out? He said, but nevertheless, I'll fight this battle. But just let me be Lord over your life. Nevertheless, I'll fight this battle. But when we win, will you let me be God over your life? Slap your neighbor and say, neighbor, I done messed up. But now the Lord is allowing me to be restored. And when I win, you will see that it was God. When I win, you will see that it was the Lord on my side. And God, before I win, you can be Lord over my life right now. Because you're all powerful, all knowing. You're all powerful, all knowing the great I am. So be the God that I need you to be. Grab your neighbor, shake their hand like they're gonna shake it off. They said, The Lord is gonna fight for me, so I'm going back to Him. The Lord is fighting for me, He's fighting for me now because I done got myself together. God, I repent for turning away because of what men did. God, I repent for turning away because of what I did. And Lord, take me back. Take me back. I've been frustrated, God. But take me back. I've been going through, God. But take me back. I ain't been myself. But take me back. I ain't pray like I should. But take me back. I ain't dance like I should. But take me back. I ain't worship like I should. So take me back. Because God, you're my God. And I need you to fight for me. Because can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody fight like God can. Can't nobody win like the Lord. So slap your neighbor a high five. It's a neighbor. You're victorious now. Neighbor, tell him you got the victory now because you don't repented and went back to the Lord. Tell somebody I'm in a good, good place now. Tell him, say, I'm in a good place now. Tell him, I'm in a good place now. Tell him again, say, I'm in a good, good place. Get out your seat and go across the room and tell somebody, I'm in a good place now. Tell him, say, I done got my God back. I done got my Lord back. I done got my Savior back. Some of y'all still sitting there. Tell him, I done got my God back. I done got God back. So the devil is defeated. And God gets the glory. If God before me, who can stand against me? I done got my good, good father back. I done got my daddy back. I done got my joy back. I done got my life back. I done got God back so I got a feeling that everything somebody said I got a feeling that everything is gonna be all right because God is fighting and if God is fighting that means he's destroying the enemy tell somebody God is fighting and he's destroying the enemy he's destroying the enemy he's destroying the enemy if it had not been for the grace of God that allowed me to come back into his will I would have died when the Ammonites came against me but because I found the Lord and he was in a good place he's fighting somebody shout he's fighting he's fighting for me and I got legions of angels somebody shout backing me up the God of heaven's armies is backing me up. What devil in hell can stand against God? What devil in hell can 
stand against God what witch what warlock can stand against God I may not have it together but I got a God that can put me together Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall and Humpty Dumpty had a great fall but all the king's horsemen and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty back together again but when the king of glory came in he put me back together and I won again when the king of glory came in he put me together and look at somebody saying I won again somebody shout I had to get my king back I had to get my Lord back I had to get him back somebody shout I'm getting God back I need God back I need God back I don't want to live another moment without him I don't want to go another place without him I need the Lord back it's too hard without your God it seems impossible without you it seems wrong without you I don't want to preach without you I don't want to prophesy without you I don't want to teach without you I don't want to go to work without you because it seems impossible but Lord this monkey on my back I need you so that the enemy can be defeated somebody cry out help us help us help us help us Lord help us God help us God help us God whatever you say God will do it help us help us help us God help us somebody shout help us we need your help we need your help God we've done wrong and we need your help we're not ourselves we're angry all the time God I need your help I got an attitude all the time I'm easily irritated I'm talking to myself now and I need your help God I'm sick of going to the same place at the same time every day I need your help I'm sick of dealing with the same issues talking to the same folks I need your help I'm tired God and I'm sick of seeing the same path God I need your help strength God where I'm weak God sound God help us anybody feel what I'm talking about now if you've been where I'm at right now I dare you to throw your helmet your head back and say help us come on shout help us God I'm laying my pride aside help us Somebody shout, help! I need your help. And I found out that you're a present help in a time of trouble. So God, help me. I know I ain't talked to you in a while. But God, I need you to help me. Help us! Help us! Help us! Help us, God! Help us! Help us! And I serve a God. When I called him, he answers. 
Look at somebody and say, he answers. Say, I called him. We used to sing a song back in the day. It said, I cried. And he delivered me. Come on, the count of three. I just want everybody to jump to your feet and shout, help us. One, two, three. Help us. What if God was just waiting for you to cry out? What if he was just waiting to hear the sound of his child? What if he was just waiting for the sheep to make some noise? Shout, help us! Right where you are, just cry out, help me, God. hi yeah, 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 yeah. Don't see me, Lord. See your son's blood and help us. Lord, I cry to you, Jesus. Don't see me, Jesus. See your son's blood. Help us, help us, help us, we cry. Call you, call you, God, we believe you will help us. Yeah, we believe, God, that you will help us, Jesus. Lift your hands, church, and just enjoy the peace of God. Enjoy the peace of God. Somebody said, wait a minute, you should never sing that because that's a sinner song. Well, sometimes I feel like that. So I'm crying, say, can't be a sinner song if they're crying, Savior. Oh, oh, oh say, it's a oop song.
Have mercy upon me. As great is your mercy, toward us, your love and kindness, your tender mercies. else walked away <clears throat> and I was afraid that they would because of my mess ups but God remained faithful and because I know what faithful looks like now I can be faithful <laughs> running from place to place church to church somebody, oh they messed up over here the pastor the people that they did this there's going to be something, something everywhere but when I realized that his faithfulness was beyond my fault. I learned how to be faithful. Yeah. Your tender mercies I see. Great is your grace. Come on, stand up. Let's give unto the Lord. Thank you. 
this offering.